Welcome to my channel folks. Today we are going to see how we can use S3 lifecycle policies to transition objects to another storage class or we can also archive objects or we can also delete objects after a certain period of predefined time. So in this case, let us imagine an S3 bucket with millions of objects and after 30 or 40 days, you want to move the old files into an archival storage to reduce your cost. Or it also mean, means that you might not need to access those files after a certain period of time. So you can move it to either glacier storage or an infrequent access storage. And for compliance reasons, you might also require to store those files for a period of one year or seven years, depending upon the industry you operate on. So after that period of time, you would want those files to be automatically deleted or removed from your bucket. So in these scenarios, S3 lifecycle policies is there to save your effort and make sure that you are complying with your policies. So I'm going to take you to my S3 dashboard and show you how to configure the transition from one storage class to another storage class and deletion of objects after a certain period of time. Here I am in my S3 bucket and the bucket name is called as logs output a destination bucket for all the log files that is happening in my s3 account or in my aws accounts and let me filter it based on the prefix that i have put in here and any object with this prefix is what i'm interested in so my objects are filtered so i'm going to create an s3 lifecycle policy which will apply only these files that are shown here so let us go ahead and do that let us go to management tab and mando management you will have life cycle go ahead and click on add life cycle rule i'm going to call it as s3 cleanup and i'm going to add the prefix here that i want to apply upon here so go ahead and add that click next and i want to apply for both current and previous versions and if you have noticed the files were created a few days back so i want to transition them as soon as possible to glacier because I don't have any immediate access for those files. So I can give a date duration as zero or one or whatever time period that you would like to. So I want to do it for both current and previous version files. So go ahead and choose the number that you would feel like comfortable with and click on next. So when do I want to delete them? I'm going to configure my expiration. So for current and previous versions, let it be at 365 days. That is after one year of their creation, these files will be automatically deleted. Do you want to delete your half completed multi part uploads or incomplete uploads? Go ahead and choose this option and set the number of days that you are comfortable with in your projects. Go ahead and click on next and then review all the settings. And if you're comfortable, click on save. So what happens at this moment is Amazon is going to take this policy and it is going to compare it with when the objects were created and then apply the policy after a certain period of time. It is not like it will apply immediately as you click on save. Amazon has their own schedule. Sometimes it takes 24 hours to 48 hours. So if you come back to this bucket today or tomorrow, we might see the standard storage class that we see here might be changed to Glacier. So if you have any problems in configuring this in your buckets, put them into the comment section. I'm happy to help you with that. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.